gouache. Gouache, 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 gouache. I don't know. However you pronounce it, I have it. I want to play with it. Hopefully, hopefully my paint samples have it dried already. They already look dry. Wow, this stuff dries fast, I think. I've already sketched out what I want to do. I'm making a space mermaid. I did the 31 days of mermaid challenge and I had was I had a video. I had a video. I seriously had a complete video made and then the audio got super corrupted and I just lost everything. So yay. Yeah, that happened. So that's why you never saw it. And you probably never will. Anyways, oh I didn't decide what her skin color is gonna be. Oh, I like that color. I might just lighten that up a little bit and make that her skin color. Okay, so I've never played with this stuff before. It's interesting. That's for sure. It's definitely like acrylics. I can, it feels like acrylics to me. That's a good thing. It means it's in the familiar territory. And it's not picking up a lot on the lead that's underneath. Which is good. I mean, I did lighten up the sketch, so you wouldn't have, so we wouldn't have that problem. And I see some people they don't layer this stuff, like well, you know, you do your just like everything, and then you just don't layer multiple colors. Basically, is what they don't do. And I'm not sure if it's because it's not very opaque, but it seems pretty opaque to me. So I'm not sure. That's just a personal preference, or if that's a gouache thing. Just realized I need to color my background. I'm doing everything backwards. Prussian blue, is that what they call this? Yeah, Prussian blue. It's, it's um, Bob Ross's favorite color. No, not really. It's just, some of these colors I'm like, oh, I recognize this name because of the few Bob Ross tutorials that I've seen. Let's just watch me. <gasps> Oops. That was part of the planet right there. Whoopsies. Oh, and if you're wondering what I'm painting on, it's the box that I came in for this paint. I wanted something that would be a little bit easier to sketch on because of what I'd be sketching, because it took me a really long time to sketch this. Because stinking hands are hard. <laughs> And also I wanted something that I could do a um, line art with when I get to the end so that it looks nice because I know I have a lot of details and I'm going to lose a lot of them because I'm painting. Don't worry Mr. Jellyfish, you're not gone forever. Gone but not forgotten. It's terrible. That's terrible. Ooh, it does look like water will um, reactivate it. Goodbye, other jellyfish. 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 Cleaning the brushes thing here is not going well. This stuff really sticks to your brushes. Nice thing about a paint shirt. You can wipe paint onto it. Okay, you wanna draw right around. Wow, that was really good. Sorry. <laughs> that was really narcissistic. But I'm like impressed by my my abilities, considering everything that else that I've been doing. <laughs> Not as good. Ooh, that looked good. That looks good, I like. And this stuff is just, it's inky. Inky, that's the word I'm thinking of. It's just like, crazy. Wow, that is a flat color. I have, wow, wow. Oh, this really does dry fast. Like this, wow. That's really that's really cool about this, is it dries fast. I'm not sure if that's gonna entirely be the best thing, but that is nice right now. I am very impatient, so I think this is nice for me. I think definitely don't wanna layer colors on top of each other, so I did the right thing. Man, I'm like out of water. This planet has a dark ring around it. Is that normal? Probably not. Yeah, maybe I will 
use that lighter purple. Ooh, that kind of is cool though. Kind of on top of each other. You can kind of like see some of the darkness coming through. Ooh, some of this is like darkening. That's interesting. The planet was very light at first. And then now it's like dark. There we go. Give it a second to dry, and then I'll fix some of this line. You know what? I'm gonna take a second to wash things. Be back in a second. Well, I did always want my sink to be blue and purple. Yeah, made a little bit of a mess. But what who doesn't, right? Hmm. Well, that's interesting effect. Ooh, that's cool. I've kind of picked up some of the color here. Neat. That is kind of interesting. The stuff dries fast, but it still picks up on itself. Hmm. And we'll start doing the fin. Okay. Jellyfish. Little jellyfish. Don't know anything about jellyfishes other than they don't have brains, I think. But they're super gorgeous. This one turned out much better than this one. I'm not sure what exactly happened, but there's like a lot of like white that got stuck into it. So it like looks really nice. Now it's time for the tail. The one thing that's gonna be like a sea green color. Hmm, this is a nice consistency. See now, look at that. No like brush strokey type thing going on. There must be like a good balance between water and paint that I'm just not getting every time. Cause like all this is really brush strokey, but then this and the tail now is not at all. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. All right, now we're gonna go into the skin tone really quick. To the hands now, which we're probably just gonna not look so great until I get the line art on them. Ooh, too much water, too much water. Oh boy. What's it gonna do? What's it gonna do? What are you gonna do to me? Don't do anything bad. Ah! Yeah, there's too much water in it. No. <coughs> Let's just beat the table with it. And then, oh, I need to do just get a little white out of the bottle. Okay, next I wanted to do to be something in my original design because this is not the first time I have done this. There we go. Ooh, stars, that's what I need next. Can't forget the stars. Oh, I think I overdid it. But the stars, I should have done them first. Well, yeah, oh, okay. That's a big star. That's a really big star. <laughs> we'll have another big star right here. There, there we go. Let me let it dry and I'll be back again to do some well, maybe I'll just do line art off camera and show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, here we go. This is what it turned out like. I am very impressed. Can't quite see all the cool colors that are on this, but they're there in person. I don't know if maybe a better lighting. Eh. Well, anyways, thank you for joining me on this awesome painting party and have a good one.